welcome to our class neat biology and today let us discuss the population interactions which are existing among the organisms in coming to the population interaction interaction is the process where one animal is interacting with the other it may be the different type like it may be mutualism competition predation parasitism commensalism and amensalism in mutualism both the species are being benefited in competition both the species are adversely affected in predation one species is benefited whereas the other species will be adversely affected in parasitism also one species is benefited the other species is adversely affected in commensalism one species is benefited the other is neither benefited nor affected in amensalism one is affected the other is either benefited nor affected if you see the interaction in detail in mutualism the both the species are being benefited so here the species a and species b are being benefited and the next one is competition in competition both the species are adversely affected and in the predation one predator is benefited and the prey is adversely affected in parasitism also one organism is benefited the other is adversely affected in commensalism one is benefited the other is either benefited nor affected in amensalism one is harmed or completely affected and the other is neither benefited nor harmed so if you see here in predation as well as in parasitism and commensalisms organisms interact or live close to each other in the next uh, the first interaction which is being present in the between the organisms is the predation and if you see if you call the predator predation starts even from the herbivore because the herbivore eats up the plants and these herbivores are again eaten up by the carnivores so predation starts from the herbivores where plants are always the producers and if you see about 25% of the insects are phytophagous which feed upon the plant and if a predator is over exploiting the prey in due course a predator will die off due to the shortage of prey species so predator acts as a prudent prudent means it if it is present in more it don't eat whenever it is it has to eat it only eat at that period so that it also keep the food for the next period of time and the other one is predators also responsible for controlling the prey population this is being explained by the best example of introduction of cactus weed in australia in the year 1920 and this cactus have been dispersed widespread and they were being measures which are being taken up by the government to control the cactus weed for that they have introduced a moth which feed upon the cactus plants so that the prey population is being kept in control okay so by this we can say predators control the prey population if there is no predator the entire earth may be filled up by the single species and next predators are also used in biological control that means if there are any insects are there we again or any organism is there which is depleting our resource then we usually creep the predator there where it checks up or maintains the population of a particular species if a rat is deploying deploying the resource then again we introduce the cat and next these predators also helps in maintaining species diversity all the species different types of species who are living in a natural habitat will have the common resource so if they if there is a predator it maintains all the prey in a stable rate when the predator is absent automatically the prey population is increased and they fight among themselves due to the availability of limited natural resource in this competition all the species are adversely 
affected. So, these uh, predators uh, helps in maintaining species diversity. This is also well explained by the predator starfish. Okay, so here this predator that is starfish pisiaster in the rocky intertidal community uh, is in an experiment. These starfishes were removed. And these starfishes used to feed upon 10 different types of prey which are living in the same habitat. When this starfish is being taken off, then there is no predator. So the prey population automatically increased. Due to the availability of limited natural resource, they have fighted among themselves and all the 10 different species are also disappeared. So by this we can say that predator helps in maintaining species diversity. In next case, and in order to protect itself, the prey also try to fool the predator. How we try to fool the predator or how it escape from the predator means the best example is the frog. You can see the frog here. It has been changing its skin color with that of uh, surrounding. So we can call this as cover foliage. And as well, there were also certain uh, insects which are being were distasteful to the predator. So no predator try to eat that. Example for that is the monarch butterfly in during its developmental stage it has been fed on the poisonous weed which make that monarch butterfly distasteful for the predator to eat so there is no predator for that type of prey so they are also trying to escape from the predator in here if you see the plants these plants also try to escape from the predation that is from the herbivores by having the thrones where the, no organism will try to eat that type of plants. Example for that is acacia as well as cactus. And there are also many plants which produces certain toxic chemicals which causes serious problem to the herbivore which consume that plant. Okay, so they may release certain cardiac glycoside which may be killing the organism or it may affect the reproductive system or it may impair the digestion in the organism. So this herbivore, though they are present in plenty of amount, no herbivore look at that place and they don't graze upon that plants. Example for that is the calotropes which produce the poisonous gut cardiac glycoside. And there are also certain chemicals like nicotine, caffeine, quinine, strychnine, and opium which are also produced by many plants. If you like the video, share and subscribe. Press the bell icon to receive further notifications. This is Pravalika signing off.